So as we think about not only how we might become more like our Lord Jesus Christ and how we might be more usable by God, but as we think about how are we going to hold on to Jesus Christ in the midst of a world that is becoming increasingly hostile, we have at least four reasons here that you should do this. First of all, Jesus is God. And this is what you owe him because he created you and made you for a purpose. You should do it because of fear or respect for who he is because he has the power uh, to punish those who will not turn to him for his mercy. And again, remember, when he warns, it's only for our good because he's warning us against things that we already deserve. We already deserve that justice, but he is willing to warn us so that we might turn away and turn to the third reason, his sacrifice. He was willing to become a man. He was willing to take your guilt on himself and pay your debt by laying down his life for you so that you could go free. And of course, that because of his love. He did all of these things because he loved you. And you know what the Lord promises to you out of that love that if you will continue to hold fast to him, and by the way, he will give you the grace to do that. If you continue to hold fast and trust him, his love is so strong that he will see you through this world. Everything that you have to face, he will be with you. He will make sure that you make it to heaven where he will reveal his love to you for all eternity.